Yo, it's your boy James over Expect to go bring you guys the latest and greatest and greatest champions content. And today we finally got new gameplay footage plus pre-order details, all announced courtesy of the official Harry Potter Quidditch Champions trailer that just dropped minutes ago. So we're gonna break down everything you guys can expect with this game, with the new modes, the new gameplay details, even the new first look at character customizations, plus pre-order details with standard deluxe editions and even release dates for the Nintendo Switch. We're covering all of that. So if you guys are excited about this and other gaming content with a fun and positive twist, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Yo, without further ado, let's get right into the breakdown. Attention students, the day so many of you have been ah, waiting Lee for Jordan. is here. Whoa, the the that's the gameplay. So we got a first look at gameplay. Now. It is fast. Your it is fast. It looks real polished. Look at, look at the locations. Yeah, this looks polished. We got some cinematics here. More gameplay. It looks to be on this uh, as a seeker chasing the snitch, if I remember correctly. More locations. Oh my gosh! Look at Quidditch World Cup. Bro, look at the arena. That's gameplay right there too. And then we got some cinematic cutscenes here. Play as iconic characters, so we do know this. We got Harry, <laughs> Draco, Cho, Ron. <laughs> Create your own champion, so character customizations here. We'll break that down. Oh, the Hufflepuff garbs look sick. The hair options look great too. Gracious, there's a lot. More cinematics. I love the Lee, Lee Jordan uh, voiceover. That's such a good call. Critics Champions. Next chapter takes flight September 3rd, 2024. So uh, still on the same release date, still on schedule. Okay, standard deluxe editions. We'll go over all of that. All releasing on September 3rd. We got it in store for November 8th. And then pre-orders. Uh, we got pre-order um, bonuses. And this is what we're going to get with the deluxe edition with house themed items and of course the bonus legacy pack oh my gosh yo okay so breaking down the gameplay off the jump um you can tell how polished this looks this game is fast it's reactionary and you have to uh adjust on the fly which is i mean it's quidditch of course you do um so we get our look at a couple of the players right here uh over at um, unbroken studios that's what ubs uh, stands for and um this is just play test footage you can tell with the devs uh trying out the game and giving us some actual gameplay play footage uh this could mean different things this looks like a beater so this cost possibly could mean a chaser you got two chasers here again some action shots here and the effects it looks polished the environments and the arenas look amazing there's cho there uh <laughs> killing it the flying just looks so good uh you got some boundary effects on that last shot and then just a move boost. It looks like a, a evasive move here. Uh, keeper logo right here. So this lets you know this is a keeper icon over the top. And then they're just going for the easy goal. Keeper got there late. But we get a good look at the different locations as well. Durham string uh, location. And of course, Bobatons, as I mentioned earlier here, which is so sick. And then the Quidditch World Cup. Good Lord, this looks gorgeous. The environments look amazing. Here's Hogwarts over at the Quidditch pitch as well. Okay, so we got some more gameplay here. So this is a seeker. And the reason I know this is a seeker because I remember with the gameplay, uh, you had to go through the rings. And so the target area uh, looks to me as if uh, this means that position could be a seeker. Um, right here because yeah uh, they're chasing the snitch here this is the snitch here and you have to go through the rings and um, if you're accurately going through the rings then uh, it's going to be uh, the faster you are able to catch the snitch or get close to the snitch where you can get points and stuff so um, yo pretty cool but you're also going against another seeker who's trying to do the same thing so uh, you got to be on your p's and q's with this again more cinematics Oh my gosh. Again, the Quidditch World Cup just looks amazing. Let's, oh, we got some more gameplay here. Do we get a pass? No, so he's just aiming. 
Bro, it looks so good. It looks so good. It looks so good. So getting into the character creator, uh, we got a lot of options. So these look like the pre-order bonuses with the house garbs, or it could come with it. All right, the brooms. So you can level up your broom. We got different levels here with speed, durability, and agility. Each broom is going to be bringing that keeper favorite position. So there's your keeper icon right there alongside the skins that you can use for your brooms, which is going to be over here. Again, with the character customizations with the classic series and modern series here oh my gosh so we got the stylish referee helmet slithering fro uh, fan mascot hat with the snake oh my this is ah, that's a great one then we got the ravenclaw fan mascot it's a raven when it's supposed to be an eagle ah i thought we got out of it after uh hogwarts legacy and you got the fan mascot with the lion mane remnants of luna yo the spectacles Look at the Hufflepuff hat. Bro, these are sick. These are sick. You got the Quidditch goggles. Looking at the hairstyles, I like the options so far. Quill skins. You got the, <laughs> you got the famous. Everybody's using this hairstyle for uh, POCs, which is it's fine. Uh, I, I like this one. This is closer to my hair, actually. So a pretty good amount of hair options, honestly. And skins. Oh my gosh, padded Quidditch helmet. These look amazing. These, yeah, we've seen these. These look great. Now, breaking down the newly announced pre-orders with the standard and deluxe edition, plus the deluxe bonuses, and even delayed release of the Nintendo Switch. Starting with the standard and deluxe editions, both available with the standard being $29.99 US and the deluxe edition being $39.99 US. Now, there were pre-order bonuses as well, which comes on the Xbox, Steam, and Epic Game Store. You will be getting, if you pre-order on on those platforms the firebolt supreme broom skin that's it if you pre-order now before the game's release on september 3rd playstation users you get the standard and the firebolt supreme broom that comes with the pre-order all for free yes the standard edition and the firebolt broom all for free if you have a playstation plus membership and get the game between september 3rd and september 30th now there's no mention of a deluxe option or pre-order option for the PlayStation at all. Also, what's curious is the Nintendo Switch version of the game is dropping holiday 2024. So that is very curious as well. Now, we do know you get the physical version of the deluxe edition of the game on November 8th with the PlayStation, PlayStation 4 and 5, the Xbox, and I did not see Nintendo Switch. Now, quickly, what comes with the Deluxe Edition is pretty straightforward. You get 2,000 gold, which means there probably will be some in-game currency, but it also not only comes with 2,000 gold, it also comes with each house-specific broom, specific emblem, and specific uniform that you'll have options to if you get the deluxe version of the game. Again, only on Xbox, Steam, and Epic Game Store. No word yet for the digital version on the PlayStation, but we do know a physical copy will be coming in November 8th. Overall, the gameplay looks amazing. The character customization looks so much fun. I'm excited to get my hands on it and see how it feels after almost a year since I played it during the final playtest for the game back in 2023. That being said, I am still curious about the pre-order options for the PlayStation and the Nintendo Switch because it is non-existent. And with a lot of people that I know within the community, getting a PlayStation just for Hogwarts Legacy is going to be hard for people to get the deluxe edition or have to wait for the deluxe physical edition in November when the game has already been out for two months. So I'm very curious as to why the release dates are staggered the way there is, especially with no release date or pre-order announcements for the Nintendo Switch as of right now. So that being said, 
I'm excited to play the game in just over a month. I'm excited to share my thoughts with you guys and actually play with you guys. This is a game we've been highly anticipated and uh, waiting for since its announcement last year. And we're going to be playing the mess out of this and hopefully playing with other creators soon enough. Announcement coming soon. If you guys want more breakdowns of this game, be sure to join us every Wednesday live for Wizarding Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and hanging out with your boy. If you enjoyed it, be sure to check out the video to your right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time.